my name is... Can somebody turn on the lights, please? Come on. Turn on the light so I can tell my story. Please, a little bit of light. Wow! Not that much light. Turn the lights down a little bit. A little bit. Ah, that's much, much better. Alright. My name is Commodore Matthew C. Perry. I am a naval officer in the United States Navy. But let's on to my story. In 1853. Wow! I can tell the story without any help, please. Thank you. Back to our story. In 1853, I get a call from the president, President Millard Fillmore. He said he wanted me to go to Japan and establish trade. See, since the 17th century, Japan did not want to trade with anybody except maybe China. So I gathered up my troops and we got on board our ships and set sail to Japan. We were a very disciplined crew. I would not tolerate any goofing around or horseplay. We had serious business to get to Japan. Now I know what you're all wondering. How come I'm the only one with a face and they just have round heads? That's because I'm the only one that's important in this story. Don't pay attention to them. Anyway, back to Japan. So after many days of sailing, we finally reach Japan. I go on land and talk to the people and tell them, I am Matthew C. Perry and I've got a message from my president and we want to open trade. And you know what they told me? They told me no. I'm Matthew C. Perry. And they told me no, they didn't want to trade with us. So I asked them all and they did not want to trade with us. So I did what you had to do. We turned around and went back to the good old U.S. of A. Now when I got back to America, the president was not too happy. He wanted me to try again. So I did. But this time. I took our new steam-powered battleships, much bigger, and they didn't have to rely just on sails. It was steam power. They were way more powerful, and they packed way more cannons. So this time, I was going to negotiate a little differently. In February of 1854, we returned to Japan. We go back with seven ships this time. Four sailing ships and three steamers. We had 1,600 men. Now the people of Japan, when they saw those steamships out in the harbor with the black smoke and the cannons, they thought they looked like dragons. Yeah, I think they were a little afraid. They wanted me to go, but I said no. Not until we sign our treaty. So there was a little bit of a standoff. But finally, in March 31st, 1854, we signed our treaty. And it established permanent friendship and trade between our two countries. I returned back to America a hero. And from what I hear, the people still celebrate me coming to Japan with those steamships because it was a waking call for them. They got to see our ships that looked like dragons. Well, that's my story. Bye-bye.